हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई अकेडमी दिस इज सिक्सटीन लेक्चर एंड इज अ कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ फिफ्टींथ लेक्चर इन विच वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डिफाइनिंग द कंस्टेंट्स फॉर इंटरफेस पाथ इन दैट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डिफाइनिंग द नेटवर्क लेटेंसी क्लॉक सोर्स लेटेंसी एंड देन वी ऑल्सो सो दैट हाउ डू वी डिफाइन द कंस्टेंट्स फॉर इन टू रेज पाथ्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट हाउ डू वी डिफाइन कंस्टेंट्स फॉर रेज टू आउट पाथ्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू व्यू द लेक्चर फिफ्टीन लिंक फॉर लेक्चर फिफ्टीन विल बी गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो all right let's get started let's say this is our design this is an input port there is a circuit inside your design this is your output port and now let's say that we have some circuit on the outside of your design that is somewhere in others design which you cannot see so this is just an assumed virtual circuit and we are assuming that you have seen the lecture 15 so we are giving you an example here to calculate the value of this combinational logic which you have to calculate on your own we are assuming that you have seen the lecture 15 and you know the concept of calculating this value so based on the constraints that we are defining now you are supposed to calculate the tm value so we have a clock period of 2.5 nanoseconds on the port clock port so this is your clock port clk and the clock period is 2.5 nanoseconds you have clock setup uncertainty of 0.3 nanoseconds on this port so uncertainty means skew and jitter and other all practical aspects of clock have majorly component of 0.3 nanoseconds then you have input delay maximum of 0.6 nanoseconds means this value which will be coming in in others design so this is the 0.6 nanoseconds and apart from this you have setup value so this is let's say your flip flop ff1 and this have a value of library setup time of 0.1 nanoseconds similarly all the other flip flops will also have library setup time of 0.1 nanoseconds if they are coming from the same library so now you are supposed to calculate tm you can pause the video and try calculating the value of tm if you have seen the lecture 15 if you have not seen please go in the description below and please watch the video first and then try to calculate this value you can pause now all right let's assume that you have calculated now so value of tm if you will calculate correctly it will be 1.5 nanoseconds now in previous video we have seen that this portion of logic is actually present in somebody others design and for them this a is an actually output port for you this is an input port similarly let us assume that there is one more portion and that is on the right side of the design which would be handled by somebody else so for similarly now for us also this port will be an output port while for somebody else it would be an input port now we are supposed to calculate the logic delay based on the constraints and we will see that how to do it now now let's say the port name at the output side is b the logic present from this flip flop let's say the flip flop name is ff2 so flip flop ff2 to port b the logic delay is let's say tc now we have one more constraint since it is outside uh, output side so in output side we will have a output delay so set output delay hyphen max 0.8 this is the command for this port so at this port output delay will be applied meaning that from this port to end point wherever it is in the other design output delay will be 0.8 it includes the combo delay and whatever the delay in the end point side of the flip flop is so when we calculate our total arrival time it will be tc the combo delay in our design plus 0.8 output delay now required time rt will be clock period of 2.5 minus uncertainty value that is 0.3 and library setup time usually we subtract but since it is in other side of the design end point is here and that that 0.1 nanosecond is actually taken care how it would be actually calculated like this 0.7 would be the combo delay here and 0.1 nanosecond of 
जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन सेकेंड ऑफ लाइब्रेरी सेटअप टाइम वुड बी प्रेजेंट दैट इज वाई टोटल आउटपुट डिले इज जीरो पॉइंट एट सो वी डू नॉट सब्ट्रैक्ट इट फ्रॉम हियर बिकॉज इट इज ऑलरेडी टेकन केयर एट द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ आउटपुट डिले नाउ बेस्ड ऑन दिस अवर स्लैक विल बी कैलकुलेटेड सो स्लैक विल बी टू पॉइंट टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट सो दैट वुड बी योर टी सी वैल्यू यू कैन कैलकुलेट इट एंड इट विल बी कमिंग टू वन पॉइंट फोर नैनो सेकेंड्स If your clock period is 2.5 nanosecond, it means that maximum combinational logic delay can be 1.4 nanoseconds. Meaning that from flip flop two to B, you can have maximum delay of 1.4 nanoseconds. Now we will provide you similar one more example, and here there we will provide the constraints, and you are supposed to calculate the value of logic delay on your own. All right, so here is the example. the output port name is b let's say the flip flop is ff2 and now we are supposed to calculate something based on the constraints that we have so let's look at the constraints first first constraint is create clock hyphen period 2 so period is 2 nanoseconds for our clock clock is clk at this port and period is 2 nanoseconds and uncertainty value is setup uncertainty is 0.3 so clock setup uncertainty we know is let's say t setup ts let's say tsu we call it it is 0.3 nanoseconds and uh, we have one more so set output delay output delay we are supposed to calculate and the logic delay we know so we need to calculate what would be the output delay if we know that maximum logic delay could be 0.7 nanoseconds so we know this value we are supposed to calculate the output delay also we know that setup library setup time is 0.1 nanosecond at the flip flops so now we are supposed to calculate the output delay that is delay from this to this portion let's say the output delay is called as to so output delay is to so to plus you have 0.7 nanosecond should be lesser than equal to your clock period 2 minus your setup uncertainty that is 0.3 and library setup time will be actually part of your to so we are not going to consider the library setup time because at the end end point it will be at end point and we are considering that to have this x plus 0.1 so we know that to that is output delay already have the portion of library setup time we are not going to subtract it so to is lesser than equal to 1.7 minus 0.7 so it will be you can say lesser than 1 nanosecond or maximum 1 nanoseconds so you can say that output delay maximum value will be 1 nanoseconds That's all for this video we will see more concepts in further video please like share and subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to mention your comments in the feedback section thank you